Workload Manager, Guided Deployment Automation, is now generally available with initial support for SAP S4 HANA. Deploying enterprise applications like SAP can be challenging. Guided Deployment Automation is a new service available in Workload Manager that allows you to easily customize and deploy third-party enterprise applications on Google Cloud. After picking your chosen application, the guided user interface helps you configure and customize your system with built-in recommendations and safeguards to ensure that the latest best practices from both SAP and Google Cloud are being followed. The end-to-end -end automation simplifies the lengthy deployment process and allows you to deploy in one click and come back later to a system that is ready for use. In this demo, we will deploy a Greenfield SAP S4 HANA scale-up system in a distributed with high availability architecture. After the deployment finishes, we will perform some quick validation checks and then connect to the system with SAP tooling. In the Google Cloud Console, you can find Workload Manager in the left navigation bar under the Compute section, or by searching in the search bar at the top of the page. On the Deployment dashboard, you can view your existing deployments or click Create at the top to start a new deployment. On the Deployment Basics tab, we can provide some information about the deployment and pick from the supported applications and architectures. The selections on this page determine which information shows on the following tabs and also pre-populate some of the subsequent inputs. By intentionally picking the wrong storage bucket containing the SAP installation media, we can see a quick example of one of the proactive checks that are built directly into the user interface before correcting it and proceeding to the next tab. On the Location and Networking tab, we will specify where the system should be deployed and will pick two zones for our high availability configuration. We can choose to pick a network from the current project, or since this is a service project in a shared VPC configuration, we could choose a network from the host project. External internet access is required during the deployment process, and you can choose to create external IP addresses if your chosen network does not already have access. Finally, we can choose between creating a new DNS zone for the deployment or picking from an existing one before continuing. On the Database tab, we will start configuring the database layer by picking a HANA system ID. Workload Manager is integrated with Secret Manager to securely store credentials for any users that are automatically created in the system. Some values will pre-populate based on previous input but can be overridden, such as the HANA instance number or VM names. The operating system can be chosen independently for each component of the deployment and also supports picking custom or hardened images. Next, we can pick from certified HANA machine shapes and see another example of a proactive check for machine availability. Disk volumes and sizes are automatically calculated based on the best practices for our chosen machine shape, but we can pick the type before proceeding to the next tab. We will repeat a similar process for the application layer, which includes the central services and additional application servers. Once again, we can update values that have been pre-populated and pick from certified machine shapes and specify how many application servers are desired. On the Preview tab, additional checks are performed on the overall configuration. And here we can see an example of a quota issue, which we will quickly resolve by correcting the number of application servers. We can also see a summary of our chosen inputs and configuration and other services required to deploy our system. We can choose to generate and download the equivalent infrastructure as code if we wish to customize further or deploy manually. Instead, we will choose to deploy in one click directly from the console by clicking Create at the bottom. Deploying from the console will take us back to the deployment dashboard where we can monitor the status of the deployment, which may take a few hours to finish. While the system is being deployed, we can click the deployment where we can monitor the status in more detail. Cloud Build is used to execute the Terraform and provision the necessary resources into your chosen project. We can monitor in real time as the resources are created. A temporary virtual machine is also deployed, which handles the execution and orchestration of the Ansible playbooks required for the rest of the configuration and application installation. Ansible logs are sent to Logs Explorer, which can be viewed for additional information. After the deployment has finished, you will receive a notification and can navigate back to the deployment dashboard where we can see the status has been updated. All of the underlying Terraform and files used in the deployment are stored in cloud storage. On the Deployment Output tab, we can see all of the resources that were created in Terraform for this system. On the Details tab, we can review all of the inputs and configuration we had previously entered, which allows us to create repeatable deployments with high consistency.
Finally, we will perform some quick checks before logging into our system. We will start by connecting to a few of our instances and running some validation commands via SSH. On the HANA primary node, we can check the replication status for the database cluster and verify that all replication shows active and synced. Switching to the central services instance, we can view more information on the application instances and verify the status shows green. Workload Manager also contains an evaluation service, which allows you to automatically scan your SAP workloads against best practices. After creating and running a scan, we can see that our newly deployed demo system is passing all of the included rules and checks. To conclude the demo, we will quickly connect to the system using common SAP tooling on a Windows jump box that we already have deployed in our network. In HANA Studio, we can connect to the system by using the VM name of the primary database and instance number we specified during configuration. You can access the password for the database users by navigating to Secret Manager in the console and viewing the value for the secret you chose. We can see that all services are started and in sync, and that the system replication between our two database instances is active. In the SAP GUI, we can create a connection by using the system ID and the name of our central services instance, followed by the default port of 36 and the instance number we provided. The password is once again the value of the secret we chose. One example transaction to run is ST06, which can be used to verify the SAP host agent is installed and pulling in infrastructure information. Another example transaction to help validate the system is SM51, which shows that all of our application servers are active. Thanks for watching this demo of guided deployment automation for SAP in Workload Manager, which is now generally available. Support for additional applications and more functionality will continue to be added over time. Please reach out with any questions, feature requests, or to learn more about the roadmap.